Ask your sales representatives, how much time do you spend on uh, the funnel to finally get a lead that is going to buy? And I'm pretty sure they're going to say, well, I'm speaking to 10, 20, 30 potential customers, at least I get a deal. Familiar situation, right? That means your sales department is wasting time, like really wasting, because there is a tool that is going to help you make your sales department work only with qualified leads. And that is lead scoring that you can build with the help of a chatbot on your website. Lead scoring is actually one of our favorite tools and it really gives your sales department a nice opportunity to speak only to people who are likely to buy. Well, there are three reasons why your company needs lead scoring. Reason number one, your sales department spends a lot of time qualifying all the leads coming into your funnel. Like they are making number of calls before they actually reach a customer who is purchasing your service or product. Reason two, your sales department have a number of qualifying questions in a script and the number of qualifying questions is really big. So it is actually not uh, the way uh, to work for a sales team. So they're going to have one, two, maximum three qualifying questions before actually understanding that that is a person I'm going to sell. And reason number three, your sales department spends the same time for a lead that's purchasing $10 service or product compared to the lead that's purchasing a thousand dollars product. So answer this simple question, which deal is more valuable to you? Lead scoring with the chatbot helps you qualify the traffic coming to your website. So you're going to ask a number of qualifying questions or you're going to score a potential customer and find out if your sales department is going to speak to them or not. How to initiate lead scoring. Step one, track what pages appeal most to the potential customers before they leave their contact details or click the button call me. So probably that is uh, about the company or the products or a particular landing for a particular product. Like the same thing we do in Dashly. We have a number of tools inside our product and whenever a person is checking the landing page, we are offering them to jump into the conversation in the chatbot. So that's how we start lead scoring. Next, you're building a chatbot. So that is really simply built with the help of Dashly. You need up to 20 minutes in order to build a smooth communication and your potential leads are going to go through this communication and you're going to understand if uh, the sales team should call them or not. Also, you're going to get all the valuable information into your CRM because you're tracking what type of answers they are sharing with you and you are also adding this information into the CRM. So that's really nice food for email marketing. Plus, in this conversation, you're going to ask not only for the valuable information about the potential lead, but also the contact details. So usually that happens at the end of the conversation and you're getting a lead. So lead scoring is also about the lead generation. And finally, this type of conversation helps you understand if lead scoring is actually matching the potential lead to your ideal customer profile. So definitely your salespeople are going to speak with the people, with the leads that are almost equal to the ideal customer profile, which has certain characteristics, certain profile, and I'm pretty sure you've built this portrait. So make sure the lead scoring process is actually checking all the points into the ideal customer profile of your business. And probably the most exciting thing about lead scoring is that you can understand if the person your chatbot is talking to is ready to buy and what type of bill they are going to pay. So I'm sure you have different types of salespeople, like some of them are working like really great professionals with the high level companies of enterprise level. And in case your chatbot understands like, hey, that person is 
going to have the conversation with Bob, who's mastered the enterprise communication, well, you're going to fetch this lead to Bob and Bob is going to jump into the conversation and close the deal. So the lead scoring also helps you prioritize what type of bill the potential customer is going to pay. So the summary. Two major things about the lead scoring process. First of all, it is a really nice helper for the sales department. It not only boosts their motivation to start working with the leads, but also it gives quite many deals they are likely to close. So they are really motivated and they are spending their time on the leads that are likely to buy. So they're not wasting the time on the tie kickers or the leads that are not matching your ideal customer profile. On the other hand, your business gets only the leads that are going to become your customers. So your analytics is not spoiled and your business is gradually growing. Well, lead scoring, save time and money, save effort of your sales team and get more sales with the qualified leads. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are sharing business secrets and hacks for your website and online business weekly. See you.